music or make excuses. And namaste, guitar hero. So what you were listening to is me using the E harmonic minor scale, which is E, D sharp, C, B, A, G, F sharp, and then E. So we're changing our E minor scale to have a D sharp. Now I use this scale when the fifth of the E minor is playing, so B. You either have a B or B dominant chord. That's when it sounds most epic. I feel like most shred guitar heroes will use this or bands like Lamb of God or of course, Father Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> there are a couple different tricks and principles as usual. I try to give you the principle of each one of these things and then have you experiment and use it as you will. That's what we're about. Don't learn just this lick and say that's it. That's all I'm gonna do is play exactly as this video. Try to test out new ways to sequence this, add a different technique to it, see if you can tap other places, see if you can take it to the next level. Uh, if you feel like you can't do every single thing in this, then check out the eight steps to guitar nirvana. This course will prepare you to know your fretboard, some basic music theory and how to create. It's totally free, it's at grantsusguitar.com and you can achieve guitar nirvana by knowing yourself, knowing your instrument. And then once you know that, all the other YouTube videos that you were confused on will make so much more sense. So do that now. Not sure how long I'll keep this open for. So make music, not excuses, do it today. Anyway, let's take a look inside and let's learn these. One thing I forgot to mention is that my guitar, if you see the big flowers, here. These are my fret markers. Big flower, big flower, then just flower and dots as you go. So if you're kind of confused by the board, just try to look for the big flowers. Those are my 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 17, 19, 21, and then when it ends, 24. There we go. First shape we're going to do is going to start on the 5th fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the E string and then fourth fret on the B string. So this is the first shape that we're going to do. And the second shape that we're going to do is this. So we're going to add another note on there as well. This turns it into a chord as well. We're going to start with shape number one, and the trick with these is that the tail, so where you started it, you can take that shape and then move it up, keep the same spacing. And then resolve on the E, that tension. So again, you can see that you have this shape and it fits and connects. All the way to the 24th fret. Now you can do the same thing with the other shape. So add the other one. Now we're just repeating. So if I had to map that out, that'd be 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, and 24 are the notes that sequence in those minor thirds. Minor third, it's kind of three frets up from your root. Okay, so that's shape one and shape two. Now if you resolve here, I like to do this lick. And then go up. This way too. So this lick, um, for each string, E string, 12, 11, 8, 
B string, 12, 10, 8, G string, 11, 9, 8, D string, 10, 9, 7, A string, 10, or A string, sorry, 9, 7, 6, and then E string, 8, 7, 5. So, that's my first lick, that's my first run, and then when I go back up, I can do these minor third to a, kind of a minor third and then the flat fifth, but I'm going to sequence these as well. So it's five, eight, six, nine, seven, ten, and you kind of see those are all minor thirds. I just move it up one fret and goes up to the G string so if you can see that progression kind of off of each one of these fingers I would do a minor third and then from here from here I do that same shape that we learned before Now the cool part about this and why I think it's a principle is that you can shift these as well. So if you remember our tip to tail rule, if I start the same pattern. See these are all thirds apart. So you can use these. To go up the guitar a trick for these is you can go up to the G and that's where you start your next one right because it's four frets up I think I messed up there <laughs> yeah F sharp so on and so forth so uh, you can see I kind of bounce around If you learn the E diatonic scales and then just sharpen the D everywhere, I find that's a lot easier. If you don't know even the pentatonic scales yet, then eight simple steps to guitar nirvana. Know yourself, know your instrument in 30 days and start creating your own musical universe. Free course, go do that now. So uh, as far as some chords that you can try, you can use that same tail method with this chord. Starting it at the C, so we got third fret, fourth fret, second fret, and then here, so C, F sharp, E, D sharp. And then you'll see that these just invert, so now I have the D, A, uh, C, and F sharp. And move up to F sharp, F sharp, C, D sharp, A, A, uh, D sharp, F sharp, and then C. So the same notes, you just kind of switch which one's on the top, which one's on the bottom. So in this track, you can see uh, I like to use these always over the B. Your chords will change a little bit. So if you add E minor, C, you can go back to you now have a B major or B dominant seven as well. So you can add that there as well or here. So, those are it. Uh, always sequencing is cool. If you don't know how to sequence, it's more of an advanced technique. That would be in the no bar cell course. 
but always different ways to shred to use these as uh, exciting and colorful tools to get a little bit different melodies you can see I still made a melody in that track ending on that B so I use the seven string uh, so I like to use these for attention This is just playing the E minor scale, but only playing the semitones or frets, uh, notes that are one fret away. There's different ways you can mess around with that. Now I'm getting distracted. So, Guitar Heroes, let me see what kind of music you are making with this. If you want to join the jam band and support Grant Us Guitar so that we can make more guitar creators every single day, then join Patreon. Join my Patreon. Join the jam band where you get backing tracks every single week in a community where you can show how you rip it to become a guitar creator, to have your own guitar universe and understand the principles between the alpha and the omega then check out the no bars held guitar god course that teaches you how a lot of these intervals harmony work by using simple things like the 12 bar blues with that if you have any comments please leave them below guitar players my best guitar prayers go out to you and namaste make music or make excuses